Hey everyone, Scott JUA from Crucible Crust and Props, Norfolk's Lab and all the forms here. Been a while since I've had a, a regular build video up, um, but mainly I've been doing a lot of stuff for the Patreon and since the uh, COVID-19 outbreak and the lockdown, it's been, it's been kind of tough to get videos done uh, during the day. Uh, family, uh, my wife works from home now, of course, and uh, she's on conference calls all day and my son has been homeschooling, but today marks the end of school, so... Um, I'm going to have a little bit more free time to do some videos and how-to videos for the Patreon and stuff. So thanks for supporting there. Um, go check it out if you haven't. There's a, there's, I'm starting a new series trying to get some interviews with people who are in the industry, uh, movie industry, as uh, well as the prop industry, and just uh, different people around who um, talk about the props and the movies and how they're, how they're influencing them in their, in their endeavors and things like that. So kind of hopefully hopefully people find it interesting um first one up already and someone one of the persons uh shares a screen used to return the jedi blaster so that's pretty cool um anyway moving forward as you can see this is a ray blaster this is one of our souls hold ones that uh i helped aaron out with and we did all the measurements and everything and um so this is one of those kits i haven't done one in a while but uh, had someone send me a kit and basically this is fully installed fully blaster core 5.0 uh, rgb led in the in the muzzle fully painted like the try to be as screen accurate as possible and uh, set it up now the thing about these uh, this kit is uh it's a pretty good kit the switch solution isn't ideal though uh the switches that aaron ships with the kit are these little tiny little they have like a little metal uh, arm on them that that gets pushed down and stuff when the trigger or the uh the safety hits those and they're real finicky they're you have to place them perfectly they're finicky and um i had three of them fail in a row so i completely abandoned that and switched to a different type of tactile switch some little pololu switches which are really good they, they got a nice crisp Nice crisp uh, feel there. Um, they work perfectly fine, so no more springy. I mean, there's, there's still a spring on the trigger, but um, no more springy floppiness inside. And these, these these switches worked out really well for because actually you can't go get switches. You can't go down to Fry's or anything and get switches, and you have to order everything online. And that's one of those things. And those are the switches I had, and. They worked out better than the intended switches, so that's cool. So, of course, this has uh, Rio's uh, Goth 3 Designs uh, chassis in it, which you're not going to see because I'm not going to take it apart, but I will show you here. You'll see it here. We have an on-off switch, a recharge port, 7.4 volt lithium-ion uh, for the blaster core, you have your SD card access, but I did, I, this one's loaded up. So this one has my Ray font that I made. Um, there's another Ray font, I can't remember who made it. And then Solo fonts, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, and one of the stock blaster core fonts. Um, oh, and you'll notice here that the two screws are missing. I, I just need to put those on there. That's the last thing, I forgot totally about that. But anyway, you switch it on. Did I switch it on? There we go. Switch it on. You can replace your front cover. It's got lights up red. Those are screen captured sounds. And you got stun. The window light's kind of bright, so. And then uh, to change font, pull the trigger, hold down the aux. When it beeps, you press it again and hold it until it goes into that menu. You got the Boba Fett, Imperial Trooper. I 
Pretty cool. Pretty straightforward. This is the version with the speaker firing up. So I made a pretty big channel in this top piece. So the, there's a reverberation chamber and it kind of exits through here. It Sound exits from here. Um, from these, there's little tiny slits there and also through the barrel. So it's about equally as loud no matter where you point it. Whereas the other version, you have to compromise the design a little bit to make the sound. And but so this is pretty cool. All right. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for looking.